Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the new HTC One M8. Uh, the, the phone has HTC's Sixth Sense, or uh, Sense 6, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that made some changes to Blink Feed, which is one of the cooler features on the phone. Uh, Blink Feed is a little bit less in your face than it's been in the past, but uh, it is still very useful and something that you're going to want to probably use. So uh, first of all, how do you get to Blink Feed? Uh, when you open your phone or you double tap, you go to the home screen, right? From here, you could just go to the left. Boom, you're in Blink Feed. If your phone is off, what you could do is go from the left. And that'll automatically go to Blink Feed. You can see it now. You're off, left to right, right to Blink Feed. So just as if you were in your home page. That was my bad. Once you're in Blink Feed, the, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do. So we'll just run through some of it. Uh, first of all, the settings, uh, people are going to ask, so it's right there. And right here is, uh, you can get your, uh, actually your settings are in highlight, and then it's that little thing right there up top, but this, uh, this left panel is uh, basically filled with shortcuts. So highlights, this is the stuff that's highlighted by HTC, and this is going to be a curated feed of uh, stuff that you want to see and that they want to show you. Uh, so. It's sort of a mix there, so like there's uh, CNET and Geek.com and the Associated Press and Geek.com, Associated Press, Associated Press, there's a lot of Associated Press, uh, Gizmodo, ESPN, so the ESPN stuff and Associated Press, that was that's built in, that's their native feed since they want to pre-populate this. Uh, Geek.com, I, uh, I increased the priority of, so I want to see that. So uh, that, and that's the sort of things you're seeing over here. So you have your custom topics, which are uh, things that you want to read about. So uh, Extreme Tech, and then the custom feed for Geek.com, and then one of Geek's writers, Ryan Whitwam, and then uh, myself, Sal Congeloso, and that's, that's my Twitter feed, that's my Google Plus feed. If you go down, you can see uh, Headline News, if that's something you want to read about. So you would click that, and then you would see that feed. So it's just a shortcut in case you want to read only ESPN instead of a mix of the things that up front. And then we have the technology and science. Say we only want to read geek stuff, click there, blink feed updates, and now you're just reading geek.com. Pretty cool. So uh, here's an article about the HTC Mini Plus, which is a, uh, a tiny little phone that works along with the, uh, the HTC One M8, not surprisingly. So uh, that's the article. Swipe to go back to the previous article on geek. Swipe to go forward, and look at that. It's it preloaded all that, so it is uh, really slick, really smooth. You get a lot of reading done, and there's uh you know there's pictures here, which you can zoom zoom in on if you want to see that. Press back, and now you're back to the feed. Press back again, and uh, I can't go back anymore. Sorry, you press here, and let's go back to our mixed feed. Now you get a little bit of everything. Again, you're customizing this, so it's stuff that you should ostensibly want to like. So, uh, say you see a cool article. This uh, re uh, re uh, sorry, I can't talk. Respawn builds a Thunderdome for band something. Click it. I'm not that good at clicking today. Anyway, say you want to read about. Uh, let's find something good. 24 hour surveillance Surveillance is just fine. Click it, go to do it. Uh, from here, what you could do is you could share it. Uh, Facebook, Scribble, Clipboard, Drive, hit more and you could email it and stuff like that. Uh, message it, mail it, Bluetooth it, Gmail it, Google Plus it, Hangout, Twitter it, there's a whole lot of options there. Press back, also you could add it to a reading list. So basically, if you wanna read something later, if you don't have time to read it now, click that button and you could uh, read it later. <clears throat> what you could also do is if you see an article you want to like, you could read it later. Boom. Check that one out later. Alternatively, if you see something you don't like, remove. Uh, I'm not really sure why you'd want to start removing stuff. Uh, ideally, the feed would be learning from you. I'm not sure if it's that intelligent, but it'd be cool if it was. To get at your reading list, it's right there. Hey, that's awesome. So, and these are ones that you could uh, you can check out later. Let's go back to your reading list. Ugh, back. And now, 
you got your customized feed, back to highlights, swipe this way, back home. If you ever want to update it, just swipe top, bottom. There's a new article. Pretty cool. So that's a pretty standard feature, but uh, just in case, now you know it's there. Anyway, so yeah, that's HTC One's Sixth Sense version of Blink Feed. It's, uh, it's hidden away right here, which I think is a great spot for it. It's easy to get to if you want to do some quick reading right from the phone being closed. So yeah, this is Sal from geek.com. Thanks for watching.